Howdy guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit about the area, the surrounding area where your land's located. So this is Burl, Utah. It's very much off the grid, away from a lot of the bigger cities. So if you're looking to kind of get out of the everyday crazy city life, Burl is the place to come, I'll tell you that much. Pull up your trailer here, pull out a, set up your tent, and you can go hiking, ride your four-wheelers around, shoot your guns. I'll tell you, there's going to be a lot of rabbits out here. If you're into hunting, um, take your kids, teach them, to, teach them to hunt out here. It's a great place. So Burl was originally established as, a, as an outpost uh, or a um, siding for the Union Pacific Railroad. So the Union Pacific runs, as you can see, right through Burl here. So it was established as a place where the workers could stay and set up and uh, work on the railroad, help maintain the railroad. So to get out of Burl and to get, you know, if you're looking for stuff to do um, around in this area, there's a lot of stuff I've got up here to show you. So Cedar City is just 53 minutes away by car. Um, Cedar City is, is a bigger city in Utah. I think it has about 40, 30 or 40,000 people in it. Here you're going to find uh, good restaurants, movie theaters, big box stores, Walmart, you know, Target, um, Costco, all these, all these places. Home Depot is going to be here. Also in Cedar City is a famous um, festival. It's called the Utah Shakespearean Festival. And they have amazing plays that they run from about June to September every year. It's a great place to take your kids and your family if you want to go and have a little family outing and let them see a couple of these plays. They're, they're a lot of fun. You've got great food and uh, you just it's a great experience for everybody. Next you got St. George, which is just an hour and ten minutes away. And St. George is one of the biggest cities in Utah. There you're going to have everything you need. It's also great shopping outlets for, um, for the wife. got to keep her happy. I know my wife and uh, her sisters like to go down there all the time. And if you're looking for some golfing, man, there's no place better in St. George. It stays warm all year round. And a lot of people drive a long distance from uh, Salt Lake City or Idaho or Vegas or other places just to go golfing at some of these premier golf courses down here. So also we've got Las Vegas. It's about three hours away. Uh, not too far away, but you can have uh, lots of fun down there. You've got two hours and 50 minutes away just before Vegas. you got Lake Mead. If you've got a boat or you just want to go fishing, um, Lake Mead is the place to go. I mean, they got houseboats there. Your family can rent a houseboat for a few days and um, just relax out on the water. Go swimming, go uh, jet skiing, go water skiing, um, wakeboarding. All sorts of stuff you can do down in this lake. It's a famous lake. As you can see, it's it's a really big lake. Um, so again, if you're looking to kind of get off the grid and not be surrounded by a bunch of people, this lake is a good place to go. Also, we've got, let's see here. Oh, man, you're only an hour and 44 minutes away from Zion National Park. I wish I lived that close to Zion National Park. If you aren't, if you aren't familiar with Zion's, it is probably one of the most breathtakingly beautiful places in the world. It's a famous, famous national park. It's got these amazing red rock sheer cliffs. Um, it's got great, wa great rivers for rafting or um, fishing. Also in here you've got amazing hiking trails. I mean, you could go hiking for days and days and days on end. As you can see, these beautiful, beautiful canyons. There's also these amazing slot canyons, uh, I think they call them the narrows, where you can go hike down in the water. Sometimes the water gets up to your chest and can be a lot of fun. So that's Zion's. I mean, to live an hour and 30 minutes away, hour and 40 minutes away from Zion National Park, that's a dream to a lot of people. Also, we've got Kolob <clears throat> Canyon, which is also very close. Uh, I can show you on the map where it's at. Um... Again, you're going to have some of the same the same views, same kind of things as Zion National Park. So it's just uh, up. Here's Burl, and here's Kolob right here. 
So it's pretty close to Zion National Park, but uh, again, a little bit closer. So you're going to have, as I showed you, as you can see in some of these photos here, you're going to have a lot of arches, amazing hiking trails in here. If you want to go see wildlife or just be out in the wilderness, go camping. Kolob Canyon, Zion National Park are incredible places to go. So that kind of shows you a little bit about Burl the town. Um, again, if you're looking to get off the grid and just have a good time with your family, go camping out in the desert and um, kind of get away from it all. It's a great place to do it. I can tell you, you're surrounded by a lot of stuff out here. There it is for perspective on the map right here in southern Utah. There you go, guys.